Today we're doing my August 2020 book haul. The first one that I picked up was The Princess Bride. I love this movie, so of course I'm like, yeah, I want a copy of the book. The next ones I found were some like western novels by Frederick Manfred. They're actually signed too, so I thought that was kind of cool. You got The King of Spades, Writers of Judgment, and Conquering Horse. Yeah, it looked pretty cool. The next one I picked out mostly because the cover was shiny. <laughs> it's uh, Everworld. Land of Loss by K.A. Applegate, um, which looks like she's the author of Animorphs, so that's different. But this picture though inside, that's just creepy, so I'm like, okay, I'm intrigued. Next one's just Tokyo Pops uh, Sneaks from Fall 2003. So they just do like a small chapter or two from a couple of different manga uh, series, so that was kind of interesting to see. I have found a couple mangas at Goodwill before. I think the last one I found was Attack on Titan. Another nonfiction that I would found there was Spa Magic by Mary Murren, uh, who's the author of Water Magic, so it's kind of like a decor lifestyle kind of book. Then I found Find Your Happy by Shannon Kaiser, an inspirational guide to loving life to its fullest. Um, I'm actually planning on reading that later this year. It's part of my TBR for the end of the year. Then in the kids bin I had found Refugee by Alan Gratz. Then I found a copy of The Book Thief. Looks like it's with the movie uh, cover version. And I'd found two that I'd seen on book two before. It was Poison Study and Magic Study by Maria V. Snyder. Next I had found a, another fantasy one called Seraphim by Michelle Hoth, which is kind of cool. Then I found The Darkness That Comes Before by R. S. or sorry, R. Scott Backer. It kind of creepy. found another Nora Roberts book. This one's called High Noon. I found another book really thick, uh, The Great Book of Amber, The Chronicles, Am The Complete Amber Chronicles 1 through 10, all the novel novels of the towering fantasy saga, complete in one volume. So that should be pretty cool. Next I found Rune Warriors. The cover looked pretty interesting, so I'm like, yeah, okay. This one is by... somebody. Another nonfiction I found was a memoir called Bootstrapper. From Broke to Badass on a Northern Michigan Farm with Marty Joe Link. Looked pretty cool. Then I found Dead But Not Forgotten Stories from the World of Sookie Stackhouse. Um, I loved the True But, sorry, True Blood TV show, so I eventually want to get into reading the books. Then I found the Not So Jolly Roger, part of the Time Warp Trio series by John Sk yeah, yep. Another kids book I picked up was Moving Target by Christina Diaz Gonzalez. Looked pretty cute. 
The next one I picked up was the 39 Clues, The Black Book of the Buried Secrets. Uh, the introduction by Rick Riordan. Obviously, I only bought this because it said Rick Riordan. Also found a good copy of Stuart Little. And I found an American Girl book, uh, her name being Tenny. And then I found the Adventures of the Bailey School Kids, the Vampires Don't Wear Polka Dots. I think I may have read this when I was younger, but I'm not positive. And there was another, the Bailey City Monsters Vampire Trouble. I also found a Wishbone Mysteries, the Haunted Clubhouse. I used to watch this every now and again. Next I found the Chocolate Touch. Uh, by Patrick Skeen Catling. And I found this interesting one, The Oodle Thunks, Una Finds an Egg. Looks cute. I found the Lizzie McGuire book, The Sprite Survival Guide Family. Then I found If You Want to Scare Yourself. I always liked the little scary stories when I was a kid. I found a little board book, Five Little Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. I found a little golden book, This Little Piggy, the Disney's Mini. I keep on adding to my little golden book collection. And this cool kind of interactive one, the Glow in the Dark Planetarium book, there was actually pages that have like special stuff on it so that you know, the pages will, parts of it anyhow, will glow in the dark. You probably have to charge them with light and stuff first though. I found a short, cute little kid's book called Little Owl's Night. There's a light. Yep, night, my bad. Another one I found was from the Disney's Elena of Avalor's Feliz Navidad, a Royal Christmas. <laughs> Who remembers the Bernstein Bears? This one was Bernstein Bears and the Haunted House. I found uh, a children's book about being selfish by Joy Berry. Seems to be part of the Help Me Be Good series. I found a Dr. Seuss book, Are You My Mother? I found the Polar Express illustrated, nice sized. Well, that was all for this haul. Most of it, a lot of kids' books. Sometimes I get lucky and find some other cool books. See you next time with another video.